Uncommon news talk with only half the bias. That's what she said with Jennifer Torres. The entrepreneurial spirit is to dream, to dream, and, dream and to do. And to do. We are building America. Ladies and gentlemen, that's right. Building America here on Mojo Five O, and that's what she said. And I have somebody new with me today, and really excited to talk about talk to and talk about this gentleman, Kurt Balish, Balash, yes, ba- Balish, Balish, Balish. Sorry, I purposefully screw up everybody's name, so everyone just assumes I can't talk. I hear some noise going on in the background there, Kurt. Kurt, what are you working on? Uh, I'm shuffling some wood around my shop, looking for some sticks to throw up underneath the cutting board. I'm getting ready to glue together. Ladies and um, gentlemen, Kurt is shuffling his wood while he's talking to me. Everybody loves hearing about how I shuffle my wood. Well, Kurt, uh, I should probably explain a little bit more deeply. Kurt has his own company, Balish Woodworking. This is what the man Ballish does for woodwork. a living. He plays with his wood for a living. Yay! America. All day, all day long. All day long. <laughs> and you teach other people how to properly play with their wood as well. Yes, safely so nobody gets hurt. We don't want anybody losing an eye. Correct. Always important. You could put an eye out, and you don't want to get those splitters in the wrong places. So no. you, you said you're working on a cutting board. What kind of stuff do you make? Um, so I, I focus on custom furniture for office and residential spaces, but... Uh, part of my e-commerce network involves cutting boards, coasters, ashtrays, cigar coasters, a lot of like home goods type stuff. Uh, but my focus more is the custom furniture. I, I make tables, uh, office desks, benches, seating. Okay. Uh, the ashtrays and cigar trays are very, they sound very enticing to me. But as a sandwich maker, the, uh, the cutting board also enticing. You have a cheese board as well. I've been to your website. I'm not giving that information well, out you. yet. They have to keep listening if they want to go to that point. Yes. Okay. Kurt, have you always been self-employed? Have you always played with your wood for a living? No, actually, I ran from playing with my wood as a young child, and I joined the military <laughs> for uh, 10 years and a Ouch. month to the day. I joined in 2003. I got out in 2013. Um and even after that, I inherited some of my grandfather's tools, but I wasn't doing it professionally at the time. I was just kind of doing it as a hobby, relearning how to work the tools again after taking such a long time away from working on that type of stuff. And then I, it, I came back from contracting and my wife asked me not to leave her anymore. She wanted me home for good. So mm-hmm. I said yes. And I started doing woodworking. So it was really for your family's sake. So you were you served in the military how many years? 10 years. 10 years in military. Uh, Which branch? I was in the Army. I started out as a combat engineer, and then I transferred over to a medic. Okay. And uh, any deployments? I served, I I did a couple to Afghanistan, or one to Afghanistan, two to Iraq, and some other deployments to various countries in that region. Wow. Wow. Every one of them just as fun as the first one and just as exciting as the last. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Well, uh, this is the point in the conversation where I say thank you for your service. Some people use it as a conversation ender, but I'm just going to say it now, and then you adjust for what that means for you. But coming from me, it's a legitimate thank you for your service because I know what that means. Thank you very much. Your family had to sacrifice while you were away, Uh, so you retire, you come home, And now you play with your wood, and your wife is glad to have you. Yeah, she's glad to have me home playing with my wood. It was a very key um, aspect of my recovery from going overseas and and doing a lot of the stuff that we need to do to come home, uh, that those types of things add up and they create like moral injuries, kind of severing. It really severed me from morality, kind of, so to speak. I, I knew what right and wrong was, but I was willing to pursue the wrong just for the adrenaline. Mm. Um, and woodworking kind of helped bring me back from that precipice of, like, complete, like, self-destruction and allow me to step into a purpose that I, I really feel like was my calling from the beginning. 
So that's a beautiful thing. So the time that you served, that that left a mark on your soul. You is that that's basically That's a really easy way of putting it. Yeah, that's a really easy way of putting it. Like and I don't I don't regret any of the things that I've learned or done in the military. I don't carry guilt with me. It was more along the lines of um I mean, for a while I did, it was kind of like, if, if I did all these things, how can I love anybody or mm-hmm. how can anybody love me? Mm-hmm. And that kind of broke down into not really loving myself. And once you kind of go down that, that rabbit hole, it's really hard to recover from that. And a lot of times we hear about it, 22 a day is what the statistics point at. And that's what you always hear bantered. But I mean, just because they're not dead, just because they haven't committed suicide doesn't mean that they're, he- they're, not, they're not already dead inside. They're, they're treating or covering up those er- injuries, those moral injuries with alcohol abuse, drug abuse, whatever it is to kind of try to make those, those feelings go away temporarily. And while that, uh, for some, we're talking about, you know, a man who now plays with his wood for a living. So it seems like a dark subject, but it's actually something that is very much an issue that we need to deal with. So you yourself... You found your therapy, so to speak, through working with your hands, and you've turned yeah. it into a business. And, and now we're turning it into an educational resource for Fort Bragg. Excellent. So there in Fort Bragg, you offer classes, correct? Not in Fort Bragg. They used to have a skill center back in the late 90s, early 2000s. I guess they shut it down. Uh, where individuals from post could go work on trophies for commanders, do their own commander's boards or whatever, as well as kind of pick up some trades. And I think they also had pottery and stuff there. Well, they got rid of it. And now we kind of want to bring that back where I, I, I have about one to two people come in a week and take anywhere from an hour or two lesson from me to being in here for several days in a week and working on their entire project on their own. So if this is active military, it's also available to retired, correct? Active duty, veterans, anybody with a discharge record above uh, dishonorable, I would take in, um, and their family members as well. I believe that one of the big things that we always focus on is the veteran um, or the service member. And I want to uh, work with people within my community to kind of help bridge that gap and give them something to connect around. Uh, one of the ideas we've been playing around with is like a couple's, uh, couple's welcome home night where we let them come in and maybe make something together, sit down for a dinner while the glue is setting, mm-hmm. come back, finish up the product, and it would be a three to four hour date night to reconnect them after a deployment while getting to bring home something to remember the night by to create memories around. So one of the things that I played around with was a really simple cutting board come in, glue up a cutting board together, sit down, have a meal, and then take that cutting board home with you. Something to remember that night, something to remember that connection, a good way to remember that surmise of that deployment, reintegration into the family, and really kind of help establish that connectivity again. That is, that is so, I mean, that's excellent. That is so excellent. And it's something that worked for you. So you want to give other service members the opportunity to hopefully kind of experience that healing themselves through, you know, playing with their wood. Now, uh, where can people find information about your products that you produce? So we got a website, a very beautiful website from what everybody always tells me, Mm. um, put together by Jay Smith Studios. And we did uh, www.ballishwoodworks.com. And it is, we got all our e-commerce products up there. But if you got a custom idea, we also have a contact us page where if you don't see something listed, listed on the page, custom desk, maybe a river table, live edge work, whatever it is, you can hit the contact us link, fill out that comment, and it'll send an email directly to me. I, I usually return those emails within 24 hours, uh, at least to breach, uh, at least to make contact mm-hmm. with that person. Um, and then you can also get in touch with me on Facebook. I'm also on Instagram at uh, Ballish underscore Woodworks, and my uh, Facebook is at Ballish Woodworks, no underscore. At Ballish Woodworks. Ballish spelled B-A-L-L-A-S-H, correct? Yes. Excellent. So Ballish Woodworks with an S dot com. And uh, email address was what? I'm sorry. I'm a dip. It's Ballish Woodworks at gmail dot com. Just like the website, just with at gmail at the end. At gmail. Okay. Now, is that also where people find out information about the classes if they're in your area? 
Yeah, so we just put up one of our first classes um, for leather making. As far as coming in and learning woodworking for me, as long as I'm in the shop, people are welcome to come in as they need to. I got some soldiers that come in and they they work mornings because they work evening shifts. Mm -hmm. And then I got some that get off at around four o'clock and they'll come by for a couple hours in the evening. Um, but I, if you're interested in learning, any, if you're interested in learning woodworking and coming by and taking some classes, just give me a call. Um, you can find our contact information on the website or send me an email. Hey, I'm working on this project. Uh, I, I need some help. Or even if it's you, you don't need my help and you just want to bounce an idea off me, I'm, I'm, I'm an open book. I like to really connect with other woodworkers. And I think that's important to see each other as a collaborative community versus competition. Is there, uh, I mean, is there, do they need to bring their own wood? No, uh, so I also sell, I retail lumber. I got re lumber from all over the world in the back of my shop. I got stuff from Africa, South America, and I got domestic hardwoods and premier softwoods as well, all kiln dried that I buy from a wholesaler. Um, and a couple other veteran owned businesses that run sawmills and kilns in my area I buy off of as well. So I try to stimulate the local economy first. There are so many bells there. I personally more familiar with the domestic hardwoods, um, but I do appreciate the fact that you're stimulating the economy. Uh, do you know anybody by the name of Sven, by the way? Sven? Sven. No, I can't say I do. Oh, okay. Just checking. Um, <laughs> real quick, before I let you go, Kurt, don't worry. Inside joke, you'll understand. The Jack Holes will educate you. First of all, I'm going to tweet his information out. I'm going to Facebook his information to make sure that everyone can get in touch with him, find him, look at him, see what he has available uh, if there's anything that you need, uh, the, the home goods stuff that he has available on the website, great stuff, love it. And also, if you want to or need to take advantage of any of the woodworking classes, just spending some time with him. He's also, you know, looking at putting together uh, like maybe like a fair with other tradesmen, correct? So if you could get some, a group of guys together who, who practice different trades, is that right for? Uh, yeah. So, so we got October 26th, we got our first leather making class coming in. We got a gentleman by Donald Dobson joining us out of Pennsylvania. He's going to be doing a foundations and leather working class. We got welders on, uh, on staff here uh, to teach and mentor and welding skills. We have an artist, we have videographers, we have laser engravers currently that are all part of the, the collaborative environment to help kind of stimulate and teach those trades. But we're also looking to expand into things like pottery, and glass blowing and if you can think of building it with your hands we want to bring it all underneath one roof and have one center for people to come to and create their visions so any other business owner out there a craftsman who is in the area and interested in taking part or maybe you're not in the area and just want to take a trip you need to get in touch with kurt kurt balish thank you so much for being on the show today sir is there anything else i missed anything else you want to share with me real quick before you go no, I just, I'm very grateful for the opportunity that you took to communicate with me, take this time to get to know me a little bit more, and I appreciate you spreading my vision and my message. I'm going to spread your wood everywhere that I can, Kurt, within my power. I love it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you Welcome to the family, man. Mojo Five O. you guys make sure that you show him the love, okay? Kurt, you have a great day. Thank you, hon. Don't cut anything I wouldn't cut. Thanks, Jen. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. The entrepreneurial spirit is to dream, to dream, to dream and, to do. and to do. We are building America. Uh oh, my mic was off. That's terrible. Oh, I'm so excited with myself. I get... Just all that talk about wood, it, it gets me worked up. Okay, let me calm down here. Hi. Ha. <sighs> Kurt Ballish, ballishwoodworks.com. Coming up, I'll talk about other stuff. Hi, I'm Bill Freitas. Are you in need of pro audio equipment? Oh, I need it. 
PA systems, compressors, mics, stands, speakers, custom cabinets, new, 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 and you uh, previously owned with affordable payment options. We promise. You need Musitec. M U S I T E C. Musitec. Call and ask for Frank. With over 20 years' experience in the pro AV world, he can help you find the equipment you need. Visit us at musitec.net. 